Good afternoon, everyone. Um, it's good to have all of you here today. Uh, we are so excited to share with you about strategies to increase chapter membership. My name is Laura Yates, and I am the chapter advisor for the University of Texas at Austin. And co-presenting with me today is Rose Fardad, who is our chapter president for this year. So we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so here are some of the best practices that we'll be covering today. So we are gonna talk about invitations, info sessions and class visits, tabling, flyers and swag, video monitor announcements, social media, and a newsletter that we send out to our students. So Rose is gonna take us through membership now. Hi, so what we wanna to do to keep members engaged and also make sure we have more people join the organization First, we like to send mass emails to freshmen, inform them of eligibility, and make sure they are aware of what our organization is. Um, we mail postcards to inform parents and legal guardians of the Honor Society invite, and also make sure people know it's a legitimate organization. We also send invites to general meetings, which enables potential new members to decide if the organization is a good fit before paying dues and committing. So another way we like to keep people engaged is info sessions and class visits. So we had virtual summer orientation sessions, which when we went to table later, a lot of people were already aware of our organization when I asked. Um, we have info sessions after sending out the invitations so that people are, can ask Q&A and just be more aware of what we do. And then we also have first year interest groups. So we just contact people who are in charge of like first year interest groups and then we go visit the class and we hold a presentation and Q&A. And for whenever a freshman seems to be like particularly interested or engaged, we also have a merchandise we can give away or flyers to hand out during the event. So it helps show the legitimacy of Alpes. We also have a group meet where we can keep in contact with the members and keep them updated. Um, we have interest surveys so we know what it is that the people of our organization want, what they think would be most beneficial to them. Free presentations and Q&A, again, is a good way to just make sure people know what you're doing. Mass email, YouTube FAQ video, and the newsletter where we have all of our events listed that we send in a mass email before or after each of our bi-weekly general meetings. So it has all of our social events, service events, scholarships, um, and officer applications attached. So a great emphasis would be social media. We like to post at least twice a month, but we definitely post more. We like to utilize the link tree, which gives easy access to the social media from like a single page. So on the right, you can see officer applications, newsletter, sign up, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and ALD scholarships. And then members can get points for following or sharing or like sending in pictures or sending in captions for the Instagram or any of the social media. And another thing we like to do is we like to highlight members of the month just to up engagement. So an example, like during February, when Texas froze over, we had one member in the group meet messaging constantly saying, if anyone needs blankets or anyone needs water or food, please like let me know, I'll give it to you. And so we wanted to highlight her and make sure people knew like about what she was doing. And that's also a great way to increase engagement and also make sure people are more aware of the good your organization is doing. So they're interested in attending. And this led to a double engagement in 2020 to 2021. So another obvious way of increasing membership is tabling. It's a great way to increase campus presence, passing out pamphlets and then passing out merchandise. So we have ALD brain stress balls that are really cute and people like, we have pins and stickers as well. Another great thing we'd like to do is bake sales since food is pretty pretty easy to make and entices people to come over and ask about the organization. And during COVID, we couldn't really do a lot of like the tabling. So we instead did virtual raffles for attending the events just to keep engagement up and attendance as well. So if you stayed for longer or if you went to more meetings or earned more points with the organization, you'd have more, um, you'd have um, more of your name to be drawn from the raffle. So that's like a great way to keep people um, up to date with your organization. And then fundraising. So we sell merchandise like t-shirts, keychains, stickers, and especially graduation cords, which we make it so that um, 
non-active members pay $18 per graduation cord and active members get a discount, which is another cool way of making sure people stay engaged with the organization, stay active. We also give away extra ALD pins for advertising and students just like when they can join an organization, they're able to show their membership. So with all these strategies we've utilized, we've managed to really grow our chapter. From 2018 to 2019, we went from 51 to 158 members, which is over a 200% increase. 2019 to 2020, we went from 158 to 426 members with 169% increase. And then finally, during 2020 to 2021, peak COVID, we still managed to double social media engagement and event participation over the year. Yeah. So if anyone has any questions, feel free to ask.